Hi, I'm Danielle with Godiva Secret Wigs. Now one of our most popular pieces are our top pieces. I'm wearing the long top, but you can't tell though. And we have the long top and the medium top, but they don't come in every color and they don't come in that many styles. So one way to have a top piece, if we don't make the style or color that you want, is to create your own top piece out of a wig. All you have to do is purchase the wig in the style and color that you want, and then you can turn into a top piece all by yourself. And I'm gonna show you how. So this is a Trixie in a terracotta each, beautiful red. And so maybe my hair's this color, and we don't make top pieces in this color. So what you would do is buy the wig, and then follow these instructions. The first thing you wanna do is decide how much of the wig you wanna cut off. You could cut just the bottom, you could cut the middle, you could cut all the way to the top. You're gonna to get a different look. So I'm gonna show you those three different ways and show you what the outcome is. So I'm gonna take my wig and put it on this little block head. If you have a styrofoam head, that works too. And if not, a knee works just as well. So I have it here inside out. Here's the back where the tag is. And so first thing I'm gonna do is just cut it really low. This works great if you have a lot of your own hair and you just want, a, you want some extra, or if your head's a little larger and you find that the wigs are a little tight on you. I'm cutting right now, I'm just cutting through the elastic, and I'm cutting through this elastic right here. So here we're open, and then see how it's attached right here? I'm gonna cut right there. And you're just kinda keep pulling and seeing where it's attached. It's attached here. I'm cutting right in the middle between these two Fs here. And again, here. And you're just gonna follow it all the way around. It's really easy if you're pulling, you can see where it's attached. Here it's attached, I'm gonna cut right there. And right here. And then it's kinda double, the top and the bottom. You're just gonna cut straight through there and there. And you wanna be careful when you're cutting that you're not cutting this bottom hair, you're just cutting the elastic at the top. So I'm going to take this off to show you what we did. So here you see it's still this nice long piece and on here I'll show you what it looks like. So you still have most of your whole wig look but what's great is because it's open at the bottom it's not going to be as tight on you. So for this one what you would do is sew clips two at the top and then you could just do two or three at the bottom depending how much you want. Maybe sew one here in the middle and on the side. It's really up to you. And at the end of this video, we'll be showing you how to sew the clips in. So that's just if your head's a little larger or you really want to use a lot of the wig with your own hair. Now say you want to make it more of a top piece. Now what we're gonna do is I'll go kinda in the middle. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Cut off this elastic. I'm gonna go, let's go here. Cutting right here. Same thing again. Find where it's connected and cut in the middle here. And always you're going just cutting the elastic, not the hair. If you cut a tiny bit of hair, it's not the worst thing ever. I try not to. And here. And here. So I'm just cutting all the way around being careful to only cut the elastic and not the hair attached to it. All the way around. And don't be afraid. And again, I'm gonna cut this elastic off. And I'm gonna cut right here. So now we have more of a top piece. So here, you can see there's no bottom to this wig. There's no nape. So you're only gonna have this hair on the top. So if you have a cute shortcut, but you're a little thinner on top, this is perfect and you have tons of layers and you still have these long sides. And again, I'll show you on here what it was looking like. So here you just have this little bit of bottom hair. And it is helpful if you have like a T-pin or something you can put in the wig to keep it from moving. I have a needle, I'm gonna use that. So if you wanna make a top piece more similar to how our top pieces are, our top pieces only have the crown. So I'm gonna cut everything away except just the crown. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna cut 
and usually you will cut a little bit of hair, that's okay, but try and get it the least amount possible. Uh, get up here. You're gonna cut. So you're just cutting everything away and leaving this thick crown part. So again, you're gonna pull to see where it's attached. Little thread. And over here, pull. Here. And here. So we're gonna do this all the way around and just keep pulling and where the elastic is attached to the wig, that's what you're gonna cut. And if you make a mistake, you can sew it back together. Don't worry. Or send it to us and we'll sew it back together. Here we go. Around. So this is just the perfect way to have the custom-made top piece you always wanted in your color, your style, whether you want wavy, straight, full, thin. So I'm cutting all the way to the end. So here we have, where my needle went, oh, there you go. Here we have just the top. So this, if you look on the inside, it's just the base. That's all it is, just that crown area. Here's the front, and then here's the back now. So you don't have all that long hair, you don't have the medium, you don't have the long, you just have this cute little top. But if you love how your hair is and you just want that added fullness on the top, here's the front, this is your perfect piece. Isn't that cute? I love it. So this is a great way to do your top piece. And again, you'll ha you have, see how you have like a little on the sides now, but nowhere near as much. So this is just perfect if you want a little. And like I showed you, if you want a little more, cut a little less. If you want more, cut a little less. So that's our top piece. And I am actually wearing our long top in espresso because my hair is thin on and flat on the top too. So see here, it's just that crown piece, but it adds so much. So um, if you hold on just one second, I'm going to show you how to actually sew the clips. Where do piece go? Pe the clips into the piece. So where you'd normally sew them, if here's the front of your piece, you're going to sew the clips at the top here and here, just like I'm about to show you in a minute. And then you would also sew them at the bottom here and here. So basically you can put the clips anywhere that you want around the piece. And now I'm going to show you exactly how to sew the metal wig clips into the piece you just made. Hi, I'm Danielle with Godiva Secret Wigs and I'm going to show you how to sew a metal wig clip, one of these, into your wig or top piece or the top piece you just made. So here's your wig, you're just going to fold it inside out. Here's the inside of your wig. First thing you want to do is decide where you're going to put the clips. So if you feel like you need more added security in the front, you're going to put it either on the sides or just one in the middle. If it's riding up in the back, you could put one in the middle or again on the sides. And if you feel like you're always pulling it down from the temples, you could put the clips right on the temples. So normally you want to use a wig clip and thread that matches your wig. So I would do, you know, a brown clip and brown thread. But so you can see it easier, I'm going to use a blonde clip and blonde thread. So the first thing you're going to do is take your thread, and you're going to use like two feet-ish, this, this much, and you're just going to cut it off. Next thing you want to do is take your needle, and you're going to put the thread through the eye of the needle, which is that opening up here. Just put it right through, and pull it. And you're just going to pull both sides, so you end up with the needle in the middle and two even sides. You're gonna take the top and just make a little knot. Okay. Come on, little knot. Oh, come on. Wait for it. You do yours too. Okay, now that I have my knot, I have my thread at the end. Now I'm ready. So I'm gonna take my clip, and you wanna make sure the clip is put correctly. So to know that, you want your teeth to face into the center of the wig. So no matter where you put your clip, you want the teeth to face in the middle. So going this way, wrong. Teeth in the middle. So no matter where you put it. And the next thing you want to make sure is that this rubber part is what's facing down and is against the wig. 
So now we have our rubber down, teeth facing inward, and we're ready. So I'm going to take the needle and I'm putting it and I'm going through a little bit of the wig and then up through this top hole. Pull it all the way through. And because we made that knot, the, the thread won't come out all the way. I'm going to go a second time in through that exact same hole. And now see how you have this circle of thread right here? I'm going to take the needle and put it down through the circle of the thread, come right up, and I'm actually making a knot with the thread. I'm going to do the same thing now on this hole, just ignore the gold one. This hole right here, I'm going to go down, grab a little bit of the wig, and up through the hole. Pull. Same thing a second time. And again, here's my circle of thread. I'm going down into the middle of it, and up to make my knot again. Now I need to get to the other side. And you're going to notice these three holes up here, you can totally ignore those. We don't need them. So I'm going to take my, th my needle and just put it through this part. And it doesn't matter if you grab a little wig or not, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to pull it through here. And then when I flip this over, you'll see I'm on the other side. Now I'm going to flip my wig around because I'm right-handed and it's easier. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did over there. I'm going to do on these three holes here. So again, I take a little bit of the wig up through this hole. And the same thing a second time. And the second time I'm going to make my knot. And what this knot does is it means that, say the thread happens to break one day, or break right now while I'm sewing. I don't have to go back and do the whole thing. The whole thing will not unravel. Only It will only unravel to the next hole, because that's where you made your knot. So it's kind of just an added security. So again, second time. Where are you? There we are. And then again through the hole. So every time I'm reinforcing it. And the last time. And you don't need to grab very much wig. You're just grabbing a little. You don't need to get way down in there. Here. And the second time. And again in my hole. Make sure there's no hair in there. Pull. Now what you're going to do is take your scissor and just cut off towards the needle, and we're going to make a knot, kind of like you would if you were making a knot in your shoelaces. You're going to just take your two sides of your thread, cross them over each other and through once and twice. And this just kind of finishes it off as like an added security. And then cut. And now you're all done sewing in your clip. It's really secure. Here's how you open it. See how it's open in there? And close it. And this rubber on the inside means that even if you only have a little bit of hair, it's not going to slide around, it's not going to pull your hair, it's going to stay really secure. So now you know how to actually sew the clip in yourself. Now if you don't want to do it yourself, we will do it for you. So all you have to do is go on our website and type in the word sew, S-E-W, into our search box. And you'll see a bunch of different options come up about where you want your clip sewn. That way, if you purchase your wig from us, at the same time, you can purchase the sewing, and we'll sew those clips in for you. However, I know you can do it yourself, even if you've never sewn before. It's really easy. You know, feel free to hit the pause button as many times as you need to. Go back. Check it out. I know you can do it. And the great thing is, once you know how to do this, you could sew buttons. You could sew a hole in your shirt. You can sew anything. It's really a basic sewing technique. So now you know how to sew and you can make your wigs extra secure. Bye.